Well, we've had wonderful action, haven't we, throughout this test match, throughout this Ashes series. And Chris Wokes, it looks like, just uh, mark out their runs. And this is where we are. Australia 113 for four in their second innings. Still trailing by 162. England need those six wickets. The rain has relented. For how long, who knows? But England have an opportunity. They would have woken this morning, drawn the curtains, and the rain was unbelievable this morning in Manchester. It was teeming down, but it stopped now. Well, it, it was going to be Chris Wokes. Wokes marked out his run. But they've had a change of heart, for whatever reason, it's going to be Anderson. But not from the end that he normally operates from, he's going to come from the state for men. It must be Wood downwind, it has to be. Mind you, I said that yesterday, <laughs> it didn't happen. But Labashain, who battled gamely to the close last evening, 44 from 88 balls. Played nicely, two and a half hours worth of batting yesterday, he needs more today. Wider on the crease there, Wokes, but offers some width as well to Marsh, who gets that ball away for the first boundary of the morning. Flipped away in the air, Moen Ali coming round. Oh, my word, that wasn't far away from Moen Ali. Suddenly from nowhere. That's uh, 50 for Manus Labashain. He's played very well. He's looked very good in this game and looked good up at Headingley as well. But I think he will feel that he owes his team a big innings. Nice little late cut for four. Mark Wood said we need a, a Stuart Broad special on days like this. Get those legs pumping, get into one of his spells. Sweet cover drive, that on the up, a little bit of width. He looks in such good touch, Mitch Marsh. Ready. Drives, didn't quite time it, but he's got it in a gap. Still pretty quick, square the wicket, it goes all the way. Oh, now, Ben Stokes has slipped there at square leg. Now, I don't know. This has hit the bat pad, Harry Brook, in there. Let's have a look. No, it's half followed his foot. It wouldn't have been out anyway, but Ben Stokes, just for a moment, thought there might be a chance of a catch. So we're going to have spin from both ends, as we discussed. We'll see that obviously all fast bowlers are out. Nice cut away. Should get two for that. Or he goes down the pitch and hits him high, hard and handsome. That's beautifully struck. Love a use of the feet all the way from Labashane. <laughs> Said he hasn't been at his best and, and that's symptomatic of it. He bowled, I reckon, three full tosses in his first spell yesterday. And there's another one that's been punished by Mitchell Marsh. Down he goes again, uh, and just as handsomely as previous. That is a lovely shot from Labashain, and he's into the 90s. Beautiful. Crisp footwork. Got alongside the ball, didn't get too close to it. And then a wonderful flow of the bat. Oh! Oh! oh. That has taken the edge, it's flown past Crawley. Yeah, it is genuine, old-school, John Embury-style arm ball from the off-spinner, and it swung and bounced. 
<laughs> Almost took Crawley's head off. Oh! A bit quicker. Labashain scampers through, and it's 100 for Manus Labashain. He'll know the job is not done, but it's a very, very good 100. He struggled to find his best form at the start of this season. He started to come good at Headingley, gifted his wicket away there, and here in the first innings, 100 now and more to do. Pesto thinks he has him. And the review is immediate from England. Yeah. Can you go once more, please? There is no gap between the back and the ball, and uh, there's a spike. And... Big moment in the game. Yeah, it's the outside edge again. Marnus Labashe, he just got loose. As soon as he passed 100, he got loose against Joe Root. That is an excellent catch from Johnny Bairstow. He had to ride the bounce, keep the hands soft, keep his wits about him. Joe Root is running hot, and why wouldn't he be? That's a huge wicket for England. Labashin goes for 1-1-1. One, one, one. Root into his fifth over has, and he's got Cameron Green in his sights now. He's not always the best starter against spin. He's a good cricketer, good player, doesn't always start brilliantly against spin. Gets away with a cut. And a back foot force through the offside as Root just drops short. That's it! That's an inside edge! England thinks so, Joel Wilson, no reaction. England review. I can see clear gap between the bat and the ball. Okay, there is no bat in wall. I am happy there is no court. He didn't look concerned at all, Cameron Green. The moment England called for a review, he kind of gave Mitch Marsh a, a fist pump or a high five as if to say, that's fine, I'm not in trouble. An excellent 103 run partnership between Labashain and Mitch Marsh. Second overseas hundred for Labashain, 11 in total for him. It was a splendid innings until he lost his concentration against Joe Root. Marsh is still there and he has Green for company. Three wickets for Mark Wood, who uh, bowled four overs this afternoon and is sure to bowl a, a quick burst at some stage this evening. Wicket apiece for Wokes and for Joe Root. Right, well, that is done. Official word has come through that we are done on day four of this fourth test match. So there'll be 98 overs possible uh, tomorrow on day five for us to complete this test match from England's point of view. Obviously, they need those five wickets quite quickly because Australia only trailed by 61 runs. Well, we only had 30 overs of cricket on day four, but that's probably 30 overs more than we anticipated when we turned up at the ground. In those 30 overs, Australia advanced to 214 for five, Labashain to 100, an excellent 100. He made 111, his second outside of Australia before Joe Root managed to take his wicket. England slightly hamstrung by the fact that they couldn't use the faster bowlers later on in the day. Australia, though, trailing by 61 runs.